Today, I will explain the meaning of unplanned delivery costs in purchasing and the related configuration in SAP S4HANA. So this is also related to the other playlist I created about the account determination between financial accounting and the materials management. I will leave you a link to the other videos here so you can also check them out. Welcome back to the channel. This is Abdullah Galal and I publish videos related to SAP and finance on YouTube. So if you are interested, don't forget to check my other videos and subscribe to the YouTube channel. In purchasing, there is a difference between a planned delivery cost and unplanned delivery cost. The planned delivery cost is included in our agreement with the supplier. We know that these costs will happen. For example, when we buy something, we know that we are going to pay the insurance and the freight and so on. So these expenses should be included in our purchase order. And then when we do the goods receipt, the value of our inventory will be updated with this cost. Of course, when we create the PO, we don't know the final value of the freight or the insurance or the customs, but we know that this will happen. So we can include a standard cost in our PO. And then when we receive the invoice, it will update the cost of our inventory also. So it's not a big deal if we don't know exactly the, exa the amount that we are going to pay for the different expenses. But there are also other expense items that we don't expect at all. So when we create the PO, we included our freight, insurance, customs, and so on. We did the goods receipt. And then when we received the invoices from the supplier, we find that there is an extra expense item, for example, for tips or handling or anything. So this is an expense that we didn't plan. It is an unplanned delivery expense. Now, these unplanned expenses, there are more than uh, one way to deal with them. So for example, we can post them to the different items in the inventory that we bought. The other way is to post them to a separate expense account. So now I will explain how we can configure the unplanned delivery costs to post either to a separate GL account or to post to the inventory items that we have in the purchasing. Let me start by creating a PO. So the transaction is ME21N. The vendor is AG01. So I already explained all these screens before. If you have any questions, you can check my YouTube channel or you can leave me a comment. So the purchasing organization, company code, material, And I'm going to buy 10 pieces. The plant is AG10. Storage location is 0001. So this is my purchase order. I'm going to buy 10 shares and the price is 15 INR per piece. And I also have a planned delivery cost for the freight of one INR per piece. So the total is 10. So the total value of my purchase order is 160 INR. Now I'm going to post this PO save, copy the PO number, and I'm going to post a goods receipt. So the transaction is slash in MIGO. And this is the PO number. So goods receipt, purchase order, PO number, enter, okay, and post. Enter document header text, okay. And post. So now if we display this financial entry here, document information, FI documents, accounting. So this is the financial entry we have so far. So the total value posted to our inventory is 160, which is the value of the price plus the planned delivery cost. And then we have two GRIR account. One of them is for the items and the other is for the freight. And I explained how to configure this in the previous video. So you can also check it on the YouTube channel. Now I'm going to uh, post the invoice. So to post an invoice, the transaction is MIRO. So now we did the purchase order, we received the products, and then we received the invoices from the supplier. So the, we go here to record the invoices. So the date is 05-11-2020, reference test, and the PO number, okay. Now, when you are processing the invoice, you can always choose that we want to invoice only the products or only the planned delivery cost or both of them. 
So if I choose goods, service, items, it will only show me the price of the item. Enter. So it is only showing the price of the item, which is 150. If I choose only the plan delivery cost, it will show 10, which is the value of the freight. If I choose both of them, goods, items, plus plan, and, uh, plan delivery cost, it will show 160. So this is the total value. Now, let's say that the freight was not actually 10, it was 12. So I'm going to change this one to 12. This is still a planned delivery cost because we know that we are going to pay for the freight. Now, we also found another expense item in the invoice for tips. We had to pay some tips to the supplier. So now we have two ways to record this unplanned delivery cost. The first way is to go here to details and we have unplanned delivery cost field. So you can put the value here. So let's say, for example, we paid 20 INR. Now, what is the configuration related to this field? So when I put a value here, SAP will do one of two things. SAP will either post this value to a separate GL account that we configure in OBYC, or SAP will distribute this value to the purchase order items we have. So let's see how to configure this. So to go to the configuration, we go to SPRO, SAP Reference IMG, Materials Management, Valuation Logistics Invoice Verification, Incoming Invoices, Configure how unplanned delivery costs are posted. Click here. So for every company code, so my company code is AG01, this, we have two options. Number one is distribute among invoice items. So this way, if we put any value in unplanned, SAP will automatically distribute the amount to the different items we have in our PO. Or the other thing is post to a different GL line. So in my example, I have this. Of course, if I leave it empty, I don't need to do any further configuration. SAP will just take the value in the unplanned and it will post it to the different inventory items we have in the purchase order. But now, if I have two, then I have to configure the account that I want SAP to post to. And to configure the account determination, we can find it in OBYC as I explained before. So I will save this. And the transaction for the account determination is slash OBYC. The unplanned delivery cost, you can find it under UPF here. Now, if you find that I'm going too fast and not explaining some things, it's because that I already explained all of this before in the account determination. So anyone who is following the playlist already knows the concept and knows how to understand the OBYC transaction. This is why I'm not going to explain this again. So for the unplanned delivery cost, double click, you have to insert the chart of account, INT. Now this is the account that SAP is going to post the unplanned delivery cost to. Now let's go back to MIRO, our transaction, and I have 20 INR here. So this is the first way to post the unplanned delivery cost. Let's go and post this one so we can see the financial entry. So post, uh, we need to insert the amount first. So the total amount is 182. This is the value of our invoice, okay, and post. To display the financial entry, go to display, follow on documents, accounting document, and this is our financial entry. So we have a credit to the supplier for 182, which is the total value of our, of our invoice. We have debit to the GRIR account of the products of 150. So now we cleared the GRIR account. We have a debit to the freight GRIR account for 10. So we also cleared the freight GRIR account. Then we have two posted to the finished goods. These two is the difference between the freight expense that was planned in the purchase order, which was 10, 
and the freight expense that we actually posted in the invoice, which was 12. So this was posted to the finished goods. And the last thing is the unplanned delivery cost posted to the GL account 231600. This is the one that we saw in OBYC. So now you understand how to configure SAP to post unplanned delivery cost to a separate GL account that's configured in OBYC. Now there is another option also to post the unplanned delivery cost. So let me cancel this invoice and I'm going to post it again in a different way. So to cancel an invoice, you can find the transaction in logistics invoice verification. So go to logistics, material management, logistic invoice verification, further processing, cancel invoice document. And the cancellation reason can be anything. I will just put 01 for now and save. Now I have, I have canceled my invoice, so I will go and post it again in a different way in my RO. So again, let's post the invoice for the purchase order. So this is the date. This is the purchase order number. Enter. So let's see the other way to post the unplanned delivery cost. So now again, we paid some tips to the supplier that was not planned in the purchase order. And now we want to include it in our invoice. So the way I explained two minutes ago was to include the cost in unplanned delivery costs here. Now the other way is to use the GL account tab. Go here and you can insert any GL account you want and insert the value. So for example, I'm going to post to this one and post 20 INR. So this way I can choose the GL account manually. Of course, whether you allow the user to do this or you allow the user to post to the unplanned delivery cost, it depends on your company and on your project. So some companies prefer to have the unplanned delivery cost field and to, dis to disable the GL account because they don't want the, the accountant to manually insert a GL account. Some other companies will give more flexibility to the accountants and will allow them to post to any GL account they want in this tab. So it all depends on what you want to do. So in my example now, I'm going to post to this GL account, 20 INR. Let's go back to PO reference. And I will keep everything the same this time. So the total value is 180. Go to basic data, insert 180, okay, and post. Now to display the financial entry, go to display. Follow on documents. And this is our financial entry. So we have a credit of 180 to the supplier, which is the value of the invoice. We have a debit to the GRIR account of the products for 150, a debit to the freight GRIR account for 10, and we have other expenses 20. This is the GL account that I inserted manually in MIRO. So these are the two ways to handle the unplanned delivery cost. You either put it in the field of the unplanned delivery cost, and then SAP will do one of two things, either distribute the amount to the different items in the PO automatically, or post to a separate GL account that we configure in OBYC. The other way is to post it through the GL account tab in MIRO. In this case, you insert the GL account manually. I hope this was easy to understand. If you have any questions, you can leave me a comment on YouTube or you can contact me on LinkedIn. Thank you for watching and I will see you again in another video.